Hello! Hello! It's King. List, um, real wheel drive tune I've ever made. The fact that I've. Uh, you'll see. You'll see. Anyways, this is the 1972 Lamborghini Arama. Arama. Uh, the J, I believe, is silent. It might not be. Who knows? But this is my rear wheel drive drift ish. Tunish. It's my tunish. Um, you'll understand what I mean soon. First off, I want to show you guys how weird these lights work. Look at that. Aren't those the coolest lights you've ever seen? They're pretty weird. Here we can look in the engine here. It's got this massive V12 in here. You can't even see the bottom. It, it's just all engine. It is a massive engine. And this car drifts naturally. Natural drifter right here. Not much you can put into the back. A couple bags. A couple grocery bags. That's about it. Nice interior. Nice wood shifter. Get a nice view of inside with all the switches and whatnot. But this thing is something else. Um, my recent captures with it is right here. And uh, just to show what it can do with the little tune that I put on it. And what I mean the little tune is, all I had to do was mess with the gearing. I didn't have to touch the alignment. I didn't have to touch the differential. I didn't have to touch anything. All I touched was the gearing. Now I upgraded it fully uh, with the stock engine, but that's it. I was able to pull 31 with it. Um, the other day I was able to pull 33, but the video ceased, ceases to exist. So a 33 is possible with this car. Um, now I don't have the tune shared because uh, there really is no tune. Um, like I said, there's the tires, that's stock. Um, the gearing is the only thing I did. My top speed is 125 miles per hour. Um, the alignment is just got the drift kit on it and nothing else. No anti-roll bars. Uh, springs are stock. Ride height is stock. Rebound and bump stiffness all stock. Aero stock. Braking stock. And then the differential, I left it at stock. And it drifts like a beast uh, this car here here before I actually go into what I put onto this thing um, if we go to view cars you get to see how much this car is now in real life um, this this is actually a little bit overpriced um, for a real life uh, version of the car so it's right here they say it's $150,000. In real life, you're looking around $100,000 to $134,000. Uh, real life money. American money for this car. Uh, it starts out with 365 horsepower, and that's plenty. Um, even though I have mine upgraded, uh, that's plenty. Uh, it's amazing. And not only is it amazing for drifting, it is amazing for for um, racing with rear wheel drive. Um, it's got ample power. Um, all you have to do is really get the uh, the rear end um, down um, grip wise. Uh, if you don't, it will drift. Um, here, we got 398 horsepower with 310 foot-pounds of torque. It only weighs 3,061 pounds. Uh, it is a beast and as you can tell a lot of this stuff is going to be stock um, I really wanted to find a car that was just weird um, and out there and this is it so the sport cams and valves and what we got there stock valves stock pistons stock engine block we got the race oil and cooling and a stock flywheel 
All right, you got the race brakes. Drift springs and dampeners, that's all I had to put on there. And like I said, all I did was tune the gearing. I didn't even touch anything else. It's just a natural drift car. All right, got the sport weight reduction. All right, you can make this thing even lighter. Go to a B class. Um, right now I have it a C class drifter of all things. Um, that was the, the feat I was going for was trying to make a C class drifter that would just be amazing. And this V12, is enough um it's glorious and I, I wanted to show you guys and girls um this exciting little sports car there's the original rims all right my rims are right here the uh forza rims they work good they they took about six pounds off got 15s in the front 15s in the rear you can go all the way up to 21s on this bad boy if you really wanted to Alright, just stock everything. And it's just, it is such an amazing car. Uh, the things you can do here, um, you can take off the, uh, the front so you can have more of a view of the radiator, which is pretty sweet. Um, like I said, if you're going to make it a race tune, definitely put the uh, spoiler on there. This thing turns on a dime when it comes to race tuning. Um, so, and there's that. I mean, here, you, you know, we got the stock uh, powertrain here. You can you can put a 5.2 liter V12 in here, a 5.2 liter V10, the 6.5 liter V12, or a racing V12. So a whole lot of other options that you can do here. Lots of power to play with. But, I mean, this thing is just fine as it is. It's got plenty of power. Um, and it's stock, naturally aspirated. And you can make it all-wheel drive if you wanted to. Such an amazing car. Like I said, uh, now here, I'll have to save the setup right here. Just, I don't think I can use this these words anymore. But we'll give it a shot. I just, I, it just uh, save it, and then I'm going to show you guys just this thing completely stock. Um, it is it is a fun car to drive. It, it's, it's cheap. Um, other than that, let's get right into it, show you guys this stuff. So we're going to just resalt. There we go. Bring it back to default, and then we're going to take it out. All right, it's defaulted. You already know the the horsepower. It's over 300 horsepower, uh, 300 foot-pounds of torque stock. So it's fun. And I mean, it spins tire right off the bat, off the bat. It's a smooth, smooth runner. And that back end wants to kick out, you know, so if you can harness uh, the turning capabilities of this, you got yourself a solid build. So what I would do is um, making just a race tune, um, you got the downforce in the back there, right? All right, you need to work on those tires in the back. Give me that extra grip, right? Then you want to bring those out, you know, why not? Okay, 300 bucks is all I had to spend on that. And we're out here, still burning that rubber. But it is, uh, it is fun. I, I like this car. Um, it handles pretty darn well. 
you have arrived at your destination. So you give it some more power and whatnot. You throw some race tires on this thing and you've got yourself a solid build. So we'll go on there. Put some race tires on there. Okay. Ten grand. Alright, and we'll take that out. Not even touching the tuning, just upgrading and going. Alright. Now the tires don't spin as much. It's more planted. Doing about 50 miles an hour around the turn there. I mean, it is smooth. Look at that. You give it some nice power and you got yourself a, a nice solid race car. It's not floaty either. Um, usually these big engine little sports cars can be quite floaty, but this is well handled. I really like it. And it will kick out a little bit. And there's the car. I'm telling you guys. An amazing, amazing um, Lamborghini. Um, it, it is a weird looking Lamborghini. It doesn't have, you know, the Lamborghini doors or whatnot. Um, but um, this is a beautiful classic. And uh, I highly recommend you guys, definitely. Uh, picking up this car and messing around with it and seeing what it can do so All right guys. Well, hey, I hope you enjoyed this video and girls. I Will catch you guys next time. If you need anything, let me know in the comments below. Peace out and stay sideways my friends